Hi there, we're Ron here, and in this episode of Painting Masters, we'll be looking at works by Udes Correa. Um, he is a Brazilian watercolor painter, currently based in Portugal and Lisbon, I believe. And what's special about him is he's a master of painting people. I've been following him for now two years, I think, now on, on Instagram. And he is a master of capturing people, their gestures, their facial expressions. He also is really good at merging them with the environment. Um, it's just a very interesting style that I really recommend uh, you look more into um, uh, into his YouTube channel and his uh, Instagram page. Now, sometimes I want to do things a little differently. I don't feel like I will necessarily have a lot of commentary on it. So I just kind of want to enjoy his artwork with you. If I have something to comment on, I will. But it's mostly just going to be us hanging out together and we're going to talk about uh, his paintings. So in any case, let's get started. So here's the first painting I want to show you. And I think this one was heavily marketed for one of his workshops. But it's a perfect example for how amazing this painter is. And we have a lot of paintings to go through. So I won't talk long about any of them. And honestly, there isn't too much to analyze. It's just beautiful. I'm going to tell you what I love about them and, and we'll move on. So first off, very accurate, very realistic. He has a bit of stylization, but still he really preserves the light and shadow. And it, it's... It looks amazing. Now, the, the attention to details here is crazy. If you look at the hat and the sunglasses, the color transition from orange to yellow in the hat with the, you know, this little line at the edge and a bit of a writing there, uh, the, the, the watch on his hand, it's just beautiful. And I've seen the way he works. There are a couple of videos I'm gonna link down below again, but uh, he really makes sure to incorporate um, and to merge the figure with the environment and to have some kind of a feel that will um, make it feel more like a scene than just a figure. Because if the figure is a standalone kind of thing, then it can lack something. Uh, and he really is a master of not doing that and incorporating it, it with the scene. So a couple of more things, the, the uh, headphones are just beautiful. I love the way he did them. Uh, I love the transition here from purpley blue into more orange, uh, creates a nice sense of light and shadow once again. And notice how he merges it with the environment and he allows the colors to bleed. He uses a lot of water uh, and you can see here a bit of blue, a bit of orange uh, or pink, all of it together. A lot of exploiting the wet in wet effects, just beautiful. And then we have a play of hard edges, soft edges. It's all in here. Even the hair, look at this part. You know, the soft edge, then hard edge. Here, a so hard edge, then soft edge. Just amazing. So let's move it on. Uh, and I'm not going to talk that long about any of them, but I will just pick something that I really like about everyone. So what I love about this, and he does that a lot, is the, the pure paint strokes. This is something he's so good at, and he loves this turquoise paint. I see it all over his artworks. Uh, so just beautiful dry brush effect that makes the clothing items feel real and, and special and like they've been given the proper attention. And not to mention the crazy light and shadow control. The, um, you know, there's, look at the, the, the foot, how it's connected to the shadow. It's all connected, as many connections as possible. Probably after he filled in this area, he just went whoosh and covered it up with this broad stroke. He uses a large flat brush to do these kinds of things. Simply amazing. Another one, just beautiful, the, the way he captured the, the gesture in this example uh, of the dog and the couple and everything. Notice the, the feet here of the guy are almost completely, like you can see the pencil lines because they're so light, the way he merged them with the environment. Um, it's just fantastic. By the way, he's a Windsor Newton ambassador. So you're, he's, most of his materials, if not all of them are Windsor Newton. Uh, the colors, I know for sure, in many of his works. Maybe the paper too, I'm, I'm not sure about that. Uh, look at this, this is so cool, like when you tie the shirt around your waist and you can tell that like she's walking around, taking pictures. The story is beautiful and when you paint people, you have an opportunity to show more of the story. Notice even this shadow here, how it gradates from warmer to cooler. Just so much attention to these small details and it's all one Coher coherent, cohesive, conclusive painting. Uh, it's all connected. Nothing feels fragmented, which is very common with figures. And my paintings too, sometimes they feel very fragmented. If they're not the focal point of the painting, sometimes they feel like cutouts. Uh, and he just does an amazing job of combining them. Notice the, um, the light um, 
treatment he gave the bike just nothing is overworked here just one touch and that's it as, as much as possible you know so that's a really that's a thing that's also fairly hard to do um and i love the how he shows the pure colors a lot he uses a lot of pure colors you can see here with all of this uh the blues um great control of uh, great understanding of three-dimensionality how cloth clothes uh, and cloth works with folds and, and creases notice how he just blends the skin tone into the blue of the shirt uh, in the first layer then he added the shadow in the second layer and he doesn't go really dark his um, value range is, is really limited he saves the darkest darks to just very specific areas like here at the bottom of the hair and the, the pants here and the the uh, sandals and the shadow this is the these are the only places where he really goes with a dark color um, so simply <laughs> amazing uh, and the dry brush strokes just fantastic work and I love the splashes sometimes he'll do splashes sometimes he'll just do broad brush strokes um, again <laughs> this is really cool the movement is conveyed so well here with the spilling of the color and the, the wet and wet effect here and this really goes to show you use a lot of water don't be afraid of using a lot of water it may blend but it's gonna be beautiful you'll have less control but it's gonna be beautiful notice the the shirt here uh, so we're gonna have to pick up the pace or I'm never gonna be done but notice also the cauliflowers you can barely tell it's here it doesn't even matter no one notices it's just a part of the painting this is one of my favorites actually there's a video showing a part of this process that I really urge you to watch just beautiful the, notice the facial features and the gestures are so clear the explanation they're talking it's it's so clear they're uh, uh, good friends or they have a good relationship beautiful um, another one this is amazing the splashes really help with the sense of movement once again and makes it look very dynamic he even got the chest hair like he's so accurate um, it's crazy and this necklace whatever I he's obviously I think he's using some opaque paint here and there but he doesn't rely on it he's really good at preserving the highlights um, this is beautiful look at all of these vibrant colors uh, he changes a lot of them and, and, and makes the, the scene more interesting. One more thing I really loved about this one is the sneakers or the shoes. This touch of reds, and it's very tricky to get these things in the right timing, is perfect. It's just the right amount, just the right level of, of thickness of paint. It's perfect. This shadow here under the, the little, I don't know what it is, like a lace connecting the shirt small shadow it, it makes all the difference and makes it read and look three-dimensional look beautiful another beautiful one i love the folds and creases up here and the the very i would say brave connection of these oranges and the turquoise because these are a bit it's a it's a combination i wouldn't think of doing and it works well and then he blends the sleeve here with the environment just fantastic this is also one of my favorites with the sharp uh, contrast here it's a bit sharper than uh, the other ones you've seen uh, in the accordion and a bit of writing here maybe it's the brand name you know a bit of details and uh, just to make it more beautiful and more believable now I did compile after this one I'm gonna show you this is one of my favorites by the way all-time favorites I saw it on Instagram I was crazy in love with this painting I'm not sure if that's him because that's his autograph the U for Udes uh, on the cap so I don't know if it's just kind of a joke or that's actually a picture of him talking to someone um, but really one of my favorites especially because of this area it's so cleverly done uh, and the these a lot of flow and then rough edges and then dry brush and uh, just beautiful now I did compile a, uh, a couple of uh, landscape cityscapes and things that aren't as typical of his work uh, so I want to show you some of these. This is him, by the way. Um, so here's the painting. We're going to see it up close in a moment. I'm not sure who that is. Um, and and if you want to see the setup, this is actually a good opportunity. I don't know exactly what setup he uses, but it's and we can you could dive into that uh, on your own. Here I can see uh, that you can see the actual thing they painted um, and the painting up close. Uh, and I will show you just a moment. Here is the painting itself, really up close and. The, he has a really good sense of design. You can tell the the composition, the structure of the scene is beautiful. I love how there is a main element of this. Um, I don't know what it is, like maybe a place where you buy lottery tickets or 
I don't know, newspaper stand. I don't know what it is, but it's beautiful. And then the secondary um, uh, focal point or point of interest, the woman who was there, or the person who was there is no longer there, but it looks like they're on their laptops or reading something. So that's really cool. And uh, the composition works. The composition is just beautiful and it works. Um, and that's planar. That's a pure planar for you. Uh, so beautiful because a lot of his work is done in the studio because people it's impossible to paint them at this level of detail unless they actually sit down and wait for you to paint them in which case that's the best <laughs> okay scenario I think here's another one I think that's his I found it I believe on his website actually so again very not the the most common type of work you'll see from him but good sense of light interesting you know uh, composition it all works beautifully well composition is applied to people still life landscapes cityscapes everything it's relevant for everything so if you have good control of it you'll get it uh, interesting in every case now i wanted to finish with this one a more typical work of his because here you can also see the reference again and it's just perfect it's one of my favorites when there's more than one figure i automatically love it more because it's more interesting to me um, you can see here he drew a couple of lines maybe he wanted to do a long sleeve maybe he wanted to do a tattoo maybe he just wanted to show the three-dimensional shape of the arm Whatever the case may be, it is just beautiful. And uh, the the likeness in the faces is really astonishing. Um, at this size of a painting, I don't know how big it is, but when the face is a part of the entire painting, that's that tells you something. Now, look at these shadows here uh, under their uh, faces. He m made them not as dark as they are here. And that really helps with the sense of light I think so this is another lesson for me especially because I tend to push the darks way too much sometimes so notice what beautiful effect he was able to achieve with just saving the darks for uh, you know this area this area this bag and that's just about it um, so beautiful beautiful work I love the splashes I love the shadows I love everything about his paintings I really hope you enjoyed this episode this is really special for me because I've been wanting to cover his work for a long time now and I just didn't get around to it uh, but now we did so I hope you enjoyed this one and now let's wrap up the video. So as you've seen a real master of uh, painting figures and people and really the way his technique is so fluid um, it's not as punchy or as stale in a, in a, and stale doesn't have to be bad I mean it actually uh, moves a lot the water moves it's very wet washes to help guide the paint create the effects he wants. Um, so he starts very light. This actually inspires me to try and go a little lighter to begin with with my paintings and see where that uh, leads me because I, you know I'm trying to learn from everybody basically. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know in a comment down below what you think of uh, his artwork, whatever, if you want me to feature other artists. I want to thank you so much. I will see you again in the next vid soon.